Hello you sunny people, how the devil are you? Welcome along to Sunday. Now, did you go out yesterday? Did you? Did you go in that lovely warm sunshine? Were you cheeky enough to have a, a late night barbecue? Sitting around a log burner in your back garden? I know a few people that did. Mm, Frank and Phil probably. <laughs> yeah, and a few others. I won't mention their names. Um, rudeness, this is what I want to talk about today. If you leave someone a message, you expect them to at least acknowledge it, especially when you know they've read it. But for then to leave a message in the same chat room that you're in on Skype, just damn right bloody rude. And uh, when I do speak to the individuals, I will let them know. You know, no need for rudeness. You can say goodbye when you leave as well. And shut the door behind you. Because I ain't particularly worried anymore. No. When you realise there's more to life than real things that do matter. There's more wheels than what there is doors in the world. Yes. And there's more wheels than there is doors. Apparently. apparently. Yeah, but when you realise that there's more to life than what you've got going on in your tiny minds. You know, there are real people out there who struggle day in, day out. Not... Just with mental illness, with physical illness. Not, not blowing me trumpet, but I'm one of them. Okay? Just remember that when you're going behind my back. And talking about me, because it does come back to me in the end. Hmm. It always comes back to Gary. And as I say, I don't speak bull S or SH1T. I only advise of what I know, and it's a fact. I don't spread rumours, I tell the truth. Ask any of my loyal friends, they will tell you this. But anyway, enough about me moaning, because um, apparently that's all I do. Yeah, that's all I do is moan. But my wife will tell you, there's not just a moany side to me, there's a caring, loving side. I think my daughter would tell you that and all. Well, I hope so, after a birthday present she's just had from me. Oh, excuse me. Let me have a slurp from my drink. Got hot chocolate this morning. Because I can. Yeah. I wish Tracy would stir it, though. You can see it at the bottom there. Look at it all. I have stirred. You haven't, look. I've even put milk in it. But you haven't, because look at the bottom of the cup. Because it's heavier than... See, all you got to do is shake it gently and it will go. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's mixed. Hmm. So, you got any plans for a nice Sunday lunch? We haven't quite... Used... Oh, yes, we have. Well, it's only Sunday, isn't it? Yep, only Sunday. We're having three bentos steak kidney puddings. Hmm. Oh. And tomorrow, I have the lovely lady called Teresa, coming to sit with me for about six, seven hours. Yeah, because Tracy's off up to Kent, up to Tunbridge, to the care home, to visit Mummykins to see that she's okay. God knows what we're going to do. She reckons she's going to read a book. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. No. Tracy said she needs her kitchen de decluttered. So... Uh, I need to decluster it. I can't have anyone else decluttering it. Why not? Oh, I need to decluster it. No, they can do it for you. Oh, no. She can just say to me, do you want this? And I'll go, no, put it in the bin. It's rubbish. Exactly. That's what I need. And you won't have nothing left when you no, come home. Really? It'll be a, one clean kitchen. There won't even be a cooker out there. Mm. Yeah. Did I tell you that we bought that little mini grill just so we could have cheese on toast? Wish we hadn't spent the 40 quid now. It melts the cheese, but it doesn't go very brown. No. It's meant to be a proper grill. Did you see if it lit up? No, it didn't. It, it didn't glow red. It doesn't glow red, so it's not going to go and make the cheese go brown, is it? No, it's not. Um... That 40 quid I spent on that grill, we could have just got the oven cleaned and the grill for the same amount of money. And then we could have had proper cheese. No, the oven's not dirty. It's the grill. It's 
Yeah, it needs a good clean from that. Who's the bloke that we use? Uh, it's called Oven Clean. I think there's more than one all over the country, but he's very good. Mm, paints it on. It's like a paintbrush. Peels it off and it just picks everything up, takes it away and puts it in the bin. That's it. Tracy doesn't even have to clean the racks because he does all that. Not like the bags that we used to use, just to clean the racks up. But, um, yeah, can you give one of them a go, see if he can fix it for us. Then we can have proper cheese on toast. Nice brown with a bit of Worcester. Delicious Liam sauce. Perrins, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, not Worcestershire. Worcestershire, that's what it's called, dear. No, you ask anybody, it's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 Yes. Is it like your Prince Charles? Mm. Or the word British that you put a D into? British. 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 There's no D in British. Bloody woman. I don't know what to do with her. Any ideas? Send them in on a postcard. Right, I'll leave it at that for today because I do waffle on, as you know, and I shall talk to you tomorrow. Sensible All right? Answers. Huh? Sensible answers only, she said. What's she on about? What you can do with me. Uh, I know what I can do with you. Right, I'll speak to you later. Oh, Ta-ra.